Hello so, everyone, I want to thank you all of the people for coming. And uh, this poem that I wrote is uh, for everyone here, and most uh, importantly, and especially it's for all my Unitowners and Viking Town people out there. <laughs> you see, we live in a world of labels. We're taught as innocent children by Aesop fables that lions can roar and eagles can soar into a life of faithful will never be painful. But tell me, who is so mighty to say that this is true? Who's to say that I am any different from you? See, because the truth is, we're the same. And yet we play this game, blaming each other for all the hatred in our veins. So who's really at fault? Is it anyone at all? Tell me, is there a soul prepared to take a stand and make the call? Because what have we got to lose? We can't lose what we got. After all, what we have is what we've only been taught. Talk to see the negatives, and never the bright side. It's gotten so repetitive, yet we can't find the hindsight. So are we so blind that we can't even find the reasons to why we commit these evil crimes? I guess our lives have been comprised of fabrications and lies from when we first open our eyes to the moment we die. But hey, we can start a new chapter and chase what we're after, a world with no anger, just love, peace, and laughter. Because we all have a purpose. Nobody is worthless. And I've learned that freedom and respect is something that isn't purchased, but deserved from the start, from the first beat of the heart, to shame our natural rights have been pulled apart. Because the fact of the matter is, nobody is perfect. And no matter who you are, the truth is, you're worth it. We all have fears. We've all shed a few tears. We all breathe in the air of the world's atmosphere. Every plant that has grown laughs, cries, and moans, goes through the same moans of burning heat and freezing snow. We've all loved, we've all lost. Many cling to a cross. And the reason for this is simply because we're connected through an inner reflection. And with these scars neglected, we have the same complexion. So what I'm trying to say is, I hope you can see yourself in my eyes, because I can see myself in the mirror of mine.